Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. Join me as I travel the country, learning the tips, tricks, and stories behind the recipes and home cooks that make up the world's number one food site, allrecipes.com. This week, we're in Long Island, New York, a popular escape for Manhattanites and home to the famous Coney Island. All recipe chef Anne loves living the island lifestyle, for a while even living in the upstairs of a crab shack restaurant where she worked. Grew up crabbing right off these docks, catching snappers with a bamboo fishing pole and a bobber. And that's what we did. We're a seafood town. Well, it sounds like if anyone knows how to prepare seafood, it's probably going to be Anne. This is What's Cooking. We're here with Anne in Sayville, New York. We've got kind of a double pleasure for everybody today, a double treat. We're going to be making two things instead of our, our normal one. We'll be making her chocolate silken tofu pie or just chocolate tofu pie, which is going to be a bit of a stretch for me because I'm uh, not so much for tofu. This is the best way to turn anybody on to tofu because right. it's amazingly delicious. It's just like a thick, dense mousse. To swing it more in my favor, we're also making a grilled shrimp. Uh, an avocado BLT, so at least 50% I'm going to be happy, but she's, she convinces You'll me that I'm going to like the tofu pie as well. So we're going to start with the tofu pie, so let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to make the crust. You just combine the almonds, graham crackers, and melted butter into a food processor and blend it all up. Then press the mixture into your pie pan. You have to use a large pie pan first. You have a small one. Is that um, small? Small. Small. It's, you know where you, you are, can't. right, Mike? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. Long Island. Um, if you have a small pie plate, you'll have leftover filling, but you can just pour it into like pudding cups and just eat it as a pudding by itself. So oh, right, right. that works out fine. Just press it down and then bake it for about 10 minutes. Tofu. I'm used to what I see in the picture. Big old mm -hmm. square rectangular chunks of a pencil eraser. Right. So what's different about this tofu? And why am I going to love it? There's regular tofu and there's silken tofu. Silken tofu is very creamy and has a, a bit of a different texture than regular tofu and works perfectly in smoothies, shapes, dressings, and for this particular pie recipe, you'll be shocked and amazed at how creamy and delicious it is. Next, it's time to melt the chocolate chips. Anne does it in the microwave, stirring every 30 seconds until it is melted. Okay, let's do another 30 seconds. You want to do it in intervals because you don't want to burn your chocolate. When you're, you can let the heat that's already in there finish melting it for you. You don't want to overheat it. Water is the enemy of melting chocolate. So make sure your bowl is dry, make sure your food processor is dry, and if you do it over a double boiler on the stove, you have to be really careful not to get any in there. They call it seizing up. They, your chocolate will seize up on you if you get water in it while you're melting it. You see how the lumps are disappearing mm -hmm. in its own heat. Next, you combine the tofu, some vanilla, and the melted chocolate, and blend it until it is the texture of mousse. You want it super creamy and really, really pulverized. It's guess... already looking like a mousse. And that's it. I mean, yeah. three ingredients. You, you're you done. All right, I'm going in. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, and then the New York card approach. You're going to love it. Good. That is very, very good. Forget about it. Booyah! Do you trust me now? Okay. You can trust me. Okay. Just spread it in the crust and pop it in the fridge. Six hours in the fridge and it's ready to go? Yep. Alright. And it's hot. And it's hot. <laughs> we get the paramedics for you. Yeah. So we're done with the pie. The pie is in the refrigerator for six hours. So now we're going to make the grilled shrimp and avocado BLT. So <laughs> here we go. And the first thing we start off here is the bacon. First, you cook the bacon. Anne broils it in the toaster oven, so they'll cook flat. Next, combine the mayo with a chipotle pepper, some lime juice, and a pinch of salt and pepper, then blend it all together. So for our next step, we're gonna skewer the shrimp before we put it on the grill. Uh, I'm gonna keep these simple because it's such a complex flavor profile. I'm just gonna do some basic salt, pepper, and a spray of oil. Once the shrimp is skewered, let's head on out to the grill. All right. I'd say three minutes each side. You don't want to overcook them. Beautiful New York day. 100% humidity. Hotter than heck. Once they're thoroughly cooked, we'll head back in and start getting the sandwiches ready. Just slice some tomatoes and avocado and slice the grilled shrimp in half as well. Now it's time to start the assembly line. Spread some of the chipotle mayo on the toasted bread adding some shrimp and avocado. After adding another slice of bread, add the bacon, lettuce, 
and tomatoes and top it off with the final slice of bread. Cheers. Cheers. Forget about it. Mmm. Booyah. That's good. Mine. Wicked is right. These are some good sandwiches. And I don't think you'll catch me grilling tofu instead of steak anytime soon. But this chocolate tofu pie is pretty good. Let this be a testament that I will eat tofu. Well, it's probably time to wake up Grandpa and share the wealth. It looks like he might be getting hungry too. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, New York. Uh, join us again next week as we come to you from another kitchen with another cook and another episode of What's Cooking. Cross your fingers, keep on wishing that I'll see.